The Global Alliance for Livestock Veterinary Medicines has launched a new initiative to manage ticks and tick-borne diseases in Africa. The initiative will leverage the practical knowledge and understanding of the small-scale livestock producers sector to contribute to the initiative's outcome of increasing uptake of improved products, services and practices by small-scale producers. Here now are the details on this and others across Africa. The collaboration aims to support small-scale producers in Nigeria and Uganda by defining and implementing strategies to effectively control tick infestation in cattle. Elanco will bring a comprehensive acaricide portfolio in affordable small pack sizes, together with the expertise on tick control to local livestock producers. This will enable farmers to have access to proper use of high-quality acaricides and innovative tools that empower small-scale producers to successfully tackle the impact of ticks. It will also help farmers to raise healthier animals, grow their farms efficiency and output, and eventually allows them to make better returns on their investments. Meanwhile, Zimbabwe is already feeling the cost of the faraway conflicts between Russia and Ukraine with a ripple effect expected on not only fuel prices but also the agricultural inputs, which will adversely affect farmer viability. The supply chain of farm input shocks could also wreck plans for the forthcoming season in the country. The imported wheat prices have moved from about 465 US dollars, landing in Harare to about 685 US dollars per ton. The country needs imported wheat to to bridge the shortage as well as improve the quality of what's grown locally by farmers through blending. Finally, AIM for Climate and Agra has agreed on a target of $8 billion from public and private sector partners for climate smart agriculture and food systems innovations. They support the objectives of the... L they support the objectives of the global initiative and intend to create opportunities to enhance African countries' agricultural sector readiness for investments and support smallholder farmers to adapt to the effects of climate change. Commitments and actions for farmers will be needed if smallholders are to adapt to the changing climate. But if not, climate impacts will lead to overall yield reductions of up to 30% by 2050, while extreme weather events will result in higher losses of post-harvest quality and quantity.